If you look at Science Advances, one of the scientific medical journals from last year. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. They're looking at a protein that can reverse muscle aging. You know, that's a big, big deal. One of the biggest things that we find, especially after age 65, in our mid 60s, we really begin to lose muscle mass. That's one of the things that I coach patients to do. Do not neglect muscle mass and especially focus on the large muscle groups, the thighs, the hamstrings, the hips, the back, the calves. These muscle groups are the groups that tend to lose mass. They lose capillary interface with between the cardiovascular system and the muscle system, and that causes death because that is our major bypass for ailing insulin receptors. High intensity interval work is the number one way to improve that microvasculature of the large muscle groups that we're talking about. So again, most people, when you talk about exercise, you know, they think getting big arms. That's not what this is about. A lot of people think about walking. Yes, walking is very important, but it's a baseline aerobic. It's not nearly as effective at dealing with the prevention of diabetes and insulin resistance as high intensity interval work. So how can you do that? It depends on where, what level you're at, what kind of conditioning you currently have. I do hill runs on a treadmill when I go to the gym three times a week. And I also do a lot of squats and do them in a little bit more of a high intensity interval. This was an in vitro and in vivo study, meaning that some of the study was done in the test tube and some of the study was done in the animal. Old muscle cells usually impede muscle regeneration. The authors stimulated the production of a protein factor called NANOG, N-A-N-O-G. NANOG has the ability to decrease the rate of muscle tissue aging through DNA repair, reactivation of autophagy and mitochondrial recovery. Increasing the expression of NANOG actually helped increase the, the regeneration of those muscle cells and induced new muscle growth at a much faster rate. Now, is that ready for prime time? No, they're doing it in animal models right now, which basically means mice.